Hello and welcome to my new video. Today we are going to do the ICC uh, topic which is the Merchant of Venice. We are not going to do multiple choice questions today because uh, as the exam is drawing near we must prepare for the long answer type question which will fetch you more marks. So without delay let's uh, continue with the topic and yes I hope uh, you will uh, continue to support me as I keep trying to help you all and yes you are writing to me in the comment section I do understand but uh, most importantly those who want uh, the tuition the personal guidance do write to me in my email because it is very difficult to find out from the email and reply there are so many e uh, comments that will come over here if you want personal guidance I know that you are sending me many emails uh, but uh, yes, continue to do that. But uh, in my mail, not in the comment box because uh, I, I don't find them and it is delayed and you need the support and you don't, don't uh, find it. Okay, so it's better you write to my mail so that I immediately get it. All right. So if you want, uh, the, your assistance can be of different types for one month, two months, three months before the exam, fine. But you write to me there, whatever you need and for how many months and all that so that I can write to you, I can reply you through mail. Alright, that's all. Let's begin. So today we are going to do model test paper, The Merchant of Venice, long answer type questions for the ICC students. So without delay, let us begin. Uh, we will discuss not the MCQs but the long answer type today because uh, you see MCQs are something that we will keep practicing but the long answers are more important because that will fetch you more marks. Extract 1, let us read this from Act 4, Scene 1. As you know, it is very, very important. Duke. He shall do this or else I do recant the pardon that I late pronounced here. Portia, art thou contented, you? What dost thou say? Shylock, I am content, Portia. Clerk, draw a deed of gift. Shylock, I pray you give me leave to go from hence. I am not well. Send the deed after me and I will sign it. So this is your extract. Now the questions based on this extract. The first one. What would Grishiano do if he were the judge? So as I did in the last topic also, in the last uh, model test paper, as you will see, in the last week's one, uh, we discussed right from your textbook, which is very important. I'll explain the lines from where it is taken. This extract is extremely important. So without delay, we'll begin. Question number one, you see the lines are uh, 410. 410 page, uh, if you have the same book, it is page 129, Act 4, Scene 1, line number 410. What would Grishiano do if he were judge? You see, if you come to, <coughs> if you come to line number 415, in Christianing, shalt thou have two godfathers? Had I been judge, thou shouldest have had ten more to bring me to the gallows, nor to the font. So, uh, he says that if I, had I been judge, this is one more question. So he says that if I were the judge, then what he would do? Thou shouldest have had 10 more. So I would bring 10 more judges so that they could all uh, give the order and uh, order your um, death sentence. Okay. They would push you to the gallows. They would give the judgment to send you to the gallows. What is a gallows? Gallows is a place where people will be hung, would be sentenced to death. Okay, so uh, you are such a vicious man that uh, it is better that you die. If I were the judge, I would call even more judges or the jury itself so that they also would give the order against you. They would sentence you to death. Okay, not to the font. So font means uh, I would just, uh, uh, it would be, uh, you would not be given, you would not be baptized, you would not be made Christian. He's annoyed because why to make a person whom we all hate turn into our own religion? Okay, why, why to allow him to change to Christianity who we totally dislike? He's annoyed with this. So he says, I would not give you the holy water for baptism. Rather, I you know, no, for baptism, they, they would provide holy water and all. Uh, and you can change into a Christian from some other religion. So he says, I'm not, you, I am not at all interested in that. If I were the judge, I would have taken you to the gallows. I would have sent you to the gallows. I would have called more judges so that they also would ask for this sentence to death. Okay, so question number one is done. Question two, how can you conclude that Shylock is in a frustrated mood at this time? So you have to, uh, from there are two marks. So you have to find out which two, or which two points suggest that he is annoyed. You see over here, he's frustrated, not just annoyed. 
See what Shylock says, I pray you, line number 410. I pray you give me leave to go from hence. I am not well. Send the deed after me and I will sign it. So there are two points. One point is this, that uh, give me leave to go from hence. He asks, uh, he requests the Duke and Portia to allow him to go from there because he could no more accept this kind of a humiliation where he is losing her relig his religion, where he has lost all his money. He is you know, at the mercy of these Christian people uh, uh, on whom he wanted to take revenge. So point number one. Second point is he also says that I will accept everything that you are saying to send the deed to my house so that I can sign there. I cannot stay here and be humiliated even longer. Okay, these two other points. I hope clear this one is. Question number three. What two conditions did Antonio impose on Shylock for being allowed to retain half of his wealth? This is two marks again. For this, you will have to come to the previous page, which is page number uh, 128 in this book and line number 394. From 394, I'll explain and then tell you the points. So please, my lord, the duke and all the court to quit the fine for one half of his goods. I am content. So Antonio says that first what had happened, the property was, Shylock's property was divided into two parts. One part was to be given to, one part would move to the state coffers. That means the state uh, treasury, it would be taken to that and the other part would go to Antonio. So Duke had previously said that uh, if uh, you behave properly, then I would just charge uh, some fine and rest of the money would be for you only. We would not take it. So Antonio says, I am satisfied with that. And the other half that is coming to me, I will not use it. The other half in use to render it upon his death unto the gentleman that lately stole his daughter. So I am not going to use the second half of the money. I am going to keep it. I am going to protect it. For whom? So that after Shylock dies, that whole amount would move to whom? To Lorenzo and Jessica. That for his favor. Now this is a favor because he is not going to use Shylock's money. He is going to save it. Okay. So, so this is a favor. So for that, Shylock has to do something. What is that? He has to record a gift and turn himself into a Christian. What will that record a gift mean? That it would be a kind of, you know, a will. Like uh, after his death, what would happen to the property? So in that will, he has to mention that all that he possesses, all that he, after he dies, all that money that he possesses would go to Lorenzo and Jessica. That is the deed that he has to sign. That is the will that he has to make. Okay. And uh, moreover, he also has to turn into a Christian. So this is what Antonio, these are the two conditions Antonio imposes on Shylock for being allowed to retain half of his wealth. So he's going to retain, he's going to save, he's not going to use all Shylock, all of Shylock's money. He's going to retain that, protect that. But there are two conditions. One condition is that Shylock is going to turn into a Christian. Second, Shylock is going to sign a deed, a deed of gift or a will so that after he dies, all the money that he has would go to Lorenzo and Jessica. These are the two conditions. I hope this one is clear and the extracts too. See, you will get all the explanations already in my other videos. If you if you see in my channel, you will get all the Merchant of Venice videos. You can follow from there. But for the questions, I will still explain you the area from where you have to write the answer. Now we come to question number four. State in your own words the pardon referred to in the extract. The pardon referred to in the extract. Say so the condition, the first part is, what is in your own words the pardon? So in this extract, what do you mean by the pardon? Let's move to the extract. See, he shall do this or else I do recant the pardon that I late pronounced. So Duke had pronounced some pardon. What is that? Page, same page, line number 380, I think. Duke, that thou shall see the difference of our spirit. I pardon thee thy life before thou ask it. For half thy wealth it is Antonio's, the other half comes to the state coffer, which humbleness may drive unto a fine. So the question which is given over here is, state in your own words the pardon referred to in the extract. Point number one, first pardon is, and to, uh, Shylock's life would not be taken away by the duke. Second part, second part pardon is that um, the, the amount of money, the half of his half of Shylock's wealth that should come to the state coffers or the state treasury is not going to be taken, but only a fine is to be charged if Shylock behaves properly. These are the two pardons. State the conditions under which the pardon is granted. Under which conditions is this pardon granted? 
now you will see over here he shall do this or else i do recant the pardon so what are what are the conditions that he turns into a christian and he also signs a deed of gift he makes a will so that after his death all the money comes to lorenzo and jessica this is the condition which he has to follow so that he is providing the pardon by the duke all right last question why does the duke threaten to recant the pardon the now this you have to think and say the duke threatens that i will not allow you the pardon because he also wants shylock to you know be humiliated in the presence of everyone shylock tried to cut a pound of flesh from antonio's body a christian being a jew he wanted to kill almost kill a christian and all the christians over there are annoyed with this and therefore the duke also wants to teach him a lesson that you see you have no other way no other escape you have to give away your religion for which you had so much of respect you have to give away your Jew jewish religion you have to turn into a christian which you hated the most and you you are at the mercy of us okay we will show you mercy and only then you can live or you will have to die so it is uh, it is we you are at our mercy point number 1 point number 2 you should be humiliated for whatever you were trying to do with the christian okay so this is the reason why duke was threatening and uh, that's all for today i hope this much is clear to you these are very important questions and uh, prepare these well because any time questions can come from here that what was the pardon then how what were the loopholes as i discussed in my last video i hope those were also clear to you i mean keep uh, asking me questions i do see um, but yes uh, i do understand you have a few doubts but for doubts i will tell you uh there are a few students already in my class who have joined recently but those who want private uh like doubt clarification or something it has to be a paid class because um all the i do not get enough time to communicate to you through the comment section no all the answers i'll not be able to tell you over there and sometimes explanation is required which is not possible in the comment section so if you require it you can mail me but that would be these are all free videos that you will get if you require a personal guidance a uh, answer to questions or something even a month class or two month class you will have to communicate that in the um, email all right uh, you, you can uh, take the class for a single month for doubt clarification or uh, or or two months at, uh, before the exam whatever is your wish you have to communicate that in the in my email because uh, uh, i will not be able to reply to you in the comment box okay there are so many so it is better you communicate this thing in the email okay drop a mail over there in my box so that i get to see it all right others you can still continue to view the videos and take help from here and i'm so glad we are 8000 subscribers we are 8000 members in our family and it's a huge family and we will continue to prosper together that's it hope you have a nice day let's continue in the next case bye